Well, there should be a movement in that box. I don't have hands yet, but I'm going to see what I can do. Wish me luck. Firstly, we need parts. We have an 11 piece pry removal master kit. I'm going to attempt to use some of those tools to remove hands. I have a large variety of screwdrivers, all different lengths and bits and sizes. I have a box cutter, which I needed to get into the box. I got a pry tool. I don't think, I don't know why I have a tape measure. I have some tape. I have a movement, which is a Franz Hermel no jewels, unadjusted, made in Germany, 451 053H 85 centimeter movement that came with chains, though they're not up over the gears. It's also got some uh, rubber bands and a zip tie kind of holding things in line. It's an eight hammer movement. Probably not supposed to set it down like that, but it doesn't weigh very much and those are easily adjustable. And we have a clock. So um, first thing, we're going to stop it before we move it. We're going to take the weights off. I'm going to take the hood off and I'm going to move it out here in the middle of the room so I can get behind it. The left weight, the center weight, and the right weight. I don't know if they're weighted at different amounts, but I'm going to keep them where they go. And the pendulum. And the hood is gone. So we can verify that it is the same movement. 8 hammer, 450, 053 H85 centimeter. This bottom board here has a specific name and I think generally from what I found on YouTube, when people pull the movement out of these things, they just take that whole board out, which is clearly held in by four fairly large Phillips head screws. I could certainly do that, but it looks like the first step of what I'm doing here today is going to be to pull the hands off. So I'm going to attempt that. I'm not sure what's holding them on, but you'll be the first to know. Well, that was not easy. These things were really on there. I had to call a uh, clockmaker in the area and ask how to get them off. He said, just keep prying until they pop off. So came off with minimal damage to the dial. That'll be behind the hands anyways. I don't know that I want to reuse these hands and they're very cheap parts. So we may not get this done today unless I can find someone around here that sells Hermley. And apparently it's pronounced Hermley 451, four and a half inch hour hand. I don't know if it's an eight or a 10 inch dial. I don't know what part to measure. The whole thing or just the disc, I don't know. But now we should be ready to uh, figure out how this thing's bolted in. Um, obviously these brackets, it's one of those on each side with a Phillips screw and then it looks like there's two screws from the bottom. That might be it. So there's two pins that thread into the bottom of the movement and then there's the two screws that hold the brackets onto the back which I'm going to have to move over to the new movement. And that is it. Out she comes. I'm going to take note of all of this uh, chain stuff. Figure out how that goes back together and should have a new movement in here in a few moments. Okay, the new movement's in. It took quite a bit of adjusting on the hammers there. And I don't remember the old ones being so wampus. Um, but they're about an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch away from the, the chime bars for the uh, quarter hour and half and three quarter hour. And then over here, they're quite a ways away. But once that clutch drops over there and they come closer, they're about an eighth of an inch away too while it's going. So it seems to be working actually quite well. Only problem is I don't have any hands on there. Reason being, I think the bushings in these hands, they're supposed to be a little tighter than they are. So I can put it on there and as you can see, I'm holding the bushing and the, the hand doesn't, they're, they're too loose and I kind of screwed them up. So I'm just going to replace the hands. I have to put those on there and then hopefully it doesn't get too out of sync. Um, but otherwise, this has been a success so far. I don't know how it's going to keep time. Well, maybe we'll have to adjust the pendulum and there's no visual of the time right now. But it is working. It just chimed the quarter hour as it's 4.16 p.m. I set it with a pair of needle nose by grabbing the uh, square head on the end of the shaft there. So, so far so good. We'll have to see A, how it keeps time and then B, if I can get the hands on there to match up with what time it is. Um, I'll probably order those on eBay. They're serpentine hands. I'll have to measure them and see what they are exactly. See, uh, see if I can get those soon and then we'll put it together and we'll be done. That's going all by itself now. I don't have the hands perfectly aligned. It's not at dead one o'clock. It's a couple seconds ahead and the hour hand. There's a little bit of play in each of them so I probably will go ahead and replace them. Um, but it's chimed every time and if you heard that it doesn't completely finish the chimes on that side before it goes to the 
our hammers. So I'm not sure why that's out of a line, but for doing it myself, this is pretty much call that a success. All right, good morning. It's now 2 a.m. I just had chocolate chip cookies, so sorry if there's chocolate on my face. But uh, today was super productive. I was on my feet all day. Spent forever working on the clock. Went across the street, did the first mow today. Took off a good bit of, a good bit of grass. Did all the trimming, blew all the clippings around. Um, the first cut of every year, I have all these stones out there where the street goes into the curb and then up into the grass and I blow all the stones down into the sewer and that takes forever, so I did that. I had one painting sell today on Craigslist. I put this thing up for 200, lowered it to 150, then 100, then 50, and the guy gave me 25 for it. That seems to be how this goes. Um, Craigslist is not the outlet to sell wall art, but hell, one gone and a couple dollars in the pocket, whatever. It's the way it is. Bruce Hornsby, the way it is. So that's really it. It's 2 a.m. I came in. What I do? I watched two episodes of Walking Dead, got through the emails. I just talked to Bobby for a little bit. I'm going to go up, crawl into bed, get to sleep. Tomorrow I've got a class at 11. I've blown off the last two, so I've got to get in there. We're only awarded, we're only allowed three um, unexcused absences, and I'm saving the last one for the last day. When the exam's done, I don't, I don't want to go in. So we're going in tomorrow. Then after that, tomorrow, I don't really have anything going on, so probably do some more house crap. Alrighty, 